I would always start off over a cross pole with older horses, younger horses, simply because if the horse, it keeps the horse in the centre of the fence and the first thing we want to teach the horse is to jump in the centre and going forward. It's only later on in the career that we start to ask them to jump across fences, unless you're an eventer. And he'll jump three more fences, then start jumping at angles. But that, in short jumping, we try to teach them, teach them to jump straight and in the centre. Lots of horses are ruined you go, by Jeff. trying to gallop and win smaller novice classes before they've been taught to jump. So, keep in the centre, keep the rhythm, let the horse do the jumping. It's exactly the same when I'm training at home. I get a canter that's got enough power, ride a co corner, and then level, level, level. And let the level canter take me to whatever stride I'm on. So I might be a little bit off sometimes, I might be a little bit close sometimes, but the horse has got to use and learn to use its full range of, of stride pattern. So it doesn't matter if you're John Whittaker, Jeff Billington, or whoever else. However good a stride you can see, the horse needs to learn. Oh. Hi, who, oh, Silver? It's all right, it's Jennifer. He's never met Jennifer before. He obviously thinks she's quite hot. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. So a good canter. Good girl. Good line. Good boy. Did you chicken out then? No, I just thought I'd jump an upright before I jumped an oxer. All right. Oh, how do you train your horses not to be spooky? Because I watch you lot and you jump all sorts of funny, fancy cross-country fences. And my horses, I think if I went to some of those, they would spook, freeze, and kill us both. Look, yours just went straight to those ducks and never even looked at them. I think that's the difference now between a, a real jumper and a real, real event horse that despite the event horse having the ability to jump and having the ability to be careful, it's not careful in a way, whereas I think your horses, your really top horses, when I watch them on the TV, especially your top horses, <laughs> um, never if, lose that tiny bit of spook and tiny bit of carefulness. And I if think you've that's been watching what... me on the TV lately, you must have been watching replays. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but it was round at your house. <laughs> Shut up, don't tell them. <laughs> Three conditions if they come to my house at night. A, they've got to get pissed. B, they've got to watch me winning the Hickstead Derby in 2007. <laughs> and, and C, they've got to applaud it when I've won or else they don't get another drink. Right, I'm going to start and play around now a little bit more with the angles, because <laughs> Jeff loves that. What do you bloody do them angles for? Well, we need to do it, unfortunately, cross-country. And So I'm going to start and build this one up a little bit, just with a dead simple fence to start with. Ignore him. Can we have this pink and multicolored Did he jump that great? Can we have this pull out of the way? Pull. Give us a round of applause. It's not for the horse, it's for me. Can we move that, Sarah, that last pole? I can't get to the plank straight, please. And you, to start with, you just build the angles up. And it's exactly the same thing all the time. You get the good canter, you ride the line that you want to ride. Can't, can't see where I'm going. You ride the line you want to ride, and then you just keep the canter level.
Where am I going to go now? Where are you going now? I don't know. This is a new horse, as I keep saying, so I don't know quite <laughs> how I'm much supposed to be the one that's getting Alzheimer's. You've said that three times. <laughs> Jump towards the crowd. Good boy. Good. And he's a little bit more switched on than he was. I rode him this morning, and he wasn't really 100% tuned into to what I was after. <laughs> I think I nearly caused Jeff a fall then. Whoa, good girl. Whoa. I bet mine could do that. Oh, yes. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yes! I'm going to try that. Oh, no. <laughs> Where did you go? That black and I wasn't really watching. Did you go from that black and white one to that chest set? Yeah. Good deal. You think I can do it? <laughs> We've never been eventing before, me and Jennifer. <laughs> Come on, <God>. Jennifer. <laughs> what do I look for? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just the line through. There's no bleeding line! Pig. It's a lot easier to do that than all them in straight lines, isn't it? <laughs> Go and jump that plank now. Huh? That plank. Oh, I hate it when he gets into this. Jennifer's Stand out not the done way, much Alan, of you the, might get hurt. Jennifer's not done much over the two years. Flying She's timber. been to Holland, Greece, Spain, Germany. Now it's the right height, I'll jump it. <laughs> I might just have another go at that. What do you think? What do you think you did wrong? <laughs> <Right? Here> we... <laughs> huh? You rode what? the wrong horse. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you have a sit on one of mine in a bit. Because Ollie, could be a top-class show jumper. When we're doing... Oh, <laughs> Hang on, I'll rewind. <laughs> Oliver Townend is an inventor and nothing to do with show jumping. He gets his horses stopping, knocking fences down. Do you want to go on mine? <coughs> <laughs> Oh, it's Jeff's girlfriend back for more, isn't it, eh? I recognize you, don't you worry. That lady over there dropped me in it earlier. I'll just jump that on him first, get him hopefully confident. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. Can you go on by getting balloon? I think I can feel a competition coming on. Oh boy. Are you, uh, are you going to try it with the top pole on or not? No. Do you want to have a go on mine? Oh. Do I get a minute's dressage on it? Good boy, Leah. <laughs> 